Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, editor-in-chief of ReviewPix.com, bringing you the next edition of Jimmer Junk. This week out we're going to be playing Blasto. It's a really unique uh, first-party, third-person shooter from, this one, from Sony um, in, I believe, 1998. It's got a uh, pretty fun uh, sense of humor. We're going to just jump in. I'm going to talk as little as possible and just uh, show you guys. This is basically Zap Brannigan before Zap Brannigan. In a world where aliens take over the world of the fucking world, the eyes of the darkness open up. And... So yeah, so this is a pretty wacky game. We're just going to skip all this stuff. Um, the story in this game is ridiculous. That's, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um... Something needs to be said when, like, the bells and whistles are enjoyable. Like, loading screens in 1997 were not sexy at all. They were just loading screens. But for this game, it absolutely, absolutely was. So now we're at the uh, Uranian spaceport. So what? Welcome. No red carpet? So, if you guys heard that voice, it is indeed the legendary Phil Hartman. So, you got your little zap gun and you're just running around. That's, this is basically this is basically the game. Um, this is old school, so like you the way you move controls the camera. So it's not for everybody in the simple fact that um, maneuvering can be a pain in the ass. But see this is the thing, this is the nature this was the nature of the beast. Back then, so see, like just getting in this door is a pain in the ass. These fast moving characters, luckily, there's like some bit of like lock on. There we go. So the camera will actually lock on to like your, uh, there's like a hot chick over there. Oh, what's up, baby? I don't even know how we get to her, but hold on. Alright, can't go that way yet. Started, but we're gonna go this way. So now I'm dead. So there's gotta be a button or something to switch off. I'm dead again. <laughs> I figured, you know what? I died the first time. Maybe, maybe I won't die the second time. This is funny because I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. And my first instinct in that screen right there was to um, change the camera. Was to switch the camera around so I can maneuver. Um, you can't do that. This is a Sony PlayStation game from back in the day. So, you gotta just find a way to, uh, to maneuver. Pretty sure this is the way that I came in. Yep, so we're gonna go back around. The shooting action here is pretty cool. I mean, I'm just, just jumping around. I really want to hang out with that hot chick over there. But there's no way to get to her. See, this is what happens when you know a lot more about the history of games and you're not as good a gamer as you think you are. So definitely the lock on uh, the lock on shooting helps a lot here because without it you'd be going absolutely crazy. So I got all, all of my enemies are dead. And you can't um Ah, there you go. Just press the button and uh, die anyway. Um okay, So you have to press the button, and then you have to uh, you have to go super fast through the door. That's uh, not necessarily as fun as it could have been. All right, there you go. It's an excellent map. So now we've got a new part of the map. Definitely like a Toe Jam and Earl 
type feel to the uh, the visual allure. Oh, there we go. There's a hot chick. Now you just hang in there, babe, and I'll be right back. Um. All right. She seems really upset that she's locked in there, so we gotta we gotta do something to help her out. Okay, so now she's free. I don't want to shoot the girl. Okay, so she saves. So you save somebody, you get an extra life. Fantastic, wonderful, amazing. Alright, so. Jumping is a chore in this game. I'm dead again. Phil Hartman aside, it's not a bad looking game. It's fun to play, but again, the game is essentially hampered by by its controls. And again, it's it's a symptom of the time. So if you are okay with playing games that don't control well because of the system they're on, then this is a game that you'll totally enjoy. It's fun, it's got, like I said, a good visual allure to it, um, it's got some hot chips in it, so just jump right into play. Gem or junk, I'm going to say it's a gem just because it's hard to find, and how many how many games feature the voices? So, jump in, play it.